two. Let's take a step into Shaq Gilligan's Alexander style history. Let's get into it. What's up, GQ Sports? This is Shay Gilgis Alexander, and this is my style history. Right here, this is draft night. Walk us through this look. I was getting my draft suit ready maybe three weeks before. I had a suit idea and I went to the shop to, to try it on and I saw like a fabric on the side and it was that pattern of the draft suit. And I told him to try it just in the trim of my jacket that I already had. And then I said, let's just go all out and all over the pants. And then I tried that on and I fell in love. That's this look. It was obviously a dream come true and it kind of worked out the, the draft suit and how the night went. I was happy with both and pleased with both. And obviously uh, a night I'll never forget. Wow, I was young. No facial hair, no nothing. The jacket, I thrifted it. The shirt is off-white. You guys can see the off on the chest. The jeans are St. Laurent, I believe. And those are obviously Jordan ones. How do you start an outfit? It starts with a piece that I want to wear. Like, if something comes in the mail and it's, like, fire, I'll be like, all right, I'm wearing this tonight. A T-shirt, it could be a pair of pants or shoes. It doesn't matter. I start there, and then I, I work my way around it. When you first started dressing up for games, how would you describe your evolution? Like I started more minimalistic and then I expanded a little bit. At all those stages, I was just being myself and being comfortable in my own skin and wearing what I wanted to wear. And then as I seen more, tried more, fell in love with more, and now I wear more. January 2020, Oklahoma City. Those pants I wore religiously that year. I was in love with those. They're wild and they give you another look and they make people look. Like they're baggy pants, but you can like tighten them and make them as slim as you want. And that's why I love those. And then I threw on the jacket. Obviously the jacket's super loud. It's a Leaks Montclair jacket with the black buckle, black cat force. Those had just dropped, I mean like a week before that. When you go bold like this with an outfit, do you feel like you can wear it more than once? Those pants, they're loud, but they're all black. So I was able to do them more, but I wore like a, a pink and white pair. That pair I had to wear a couple times and put away for a little bit. Do you keep these pieces? Do you have like a huge closet at home? No, yeah, I keep all my pieces. Clothes is almost turning into an investment. So like in 10 years from now, those pants are gonna be hard to find and I'll have a pair, you know what I'm saying? Maybe five. That suit is Emron Potato Louis Vuitton suit. I love the suit, obviously super loud. And then once I knew I was going that loud all over my body, I just wore white sneakers, keep it clean white t-shirt um, and let the suit talk for itself. Most of the time I mix it up, but I think with this one, at that day I was feeling myself, so I was like, I'm, I'm gonna just go loud with this one. Do you ever go shopping? I love shopping, that's a part of it. Not knowing what you're gonna see and then seeing something and then getting excited about wearing it. I love that feeling. Uh, and yeah, I go shop every chance I get. What do you think about Louis V now that Virgil's there? I think he's taking that brand to another level in terms of menswear. So many times I find myself like, hey, I'm about to go broke over this collection. I wouldn't say no, like, fashion heroes or styles that I looked up to. It was just certain guys like Allen Iverson, being comfortable in his own skin and wearing what he wants to wear, even though he's gonna get fined, was very like bold to me. More like his attitude towards it was what I looked up to. He was a vibe. Tell us about big graphics and these sweaters. Yeah, so that first one is a brand from New York. He had had the sweater and I loved it. Then I wore that like the next couple of days I got it in, but obviously loved the sweater, it's super fire. The Tupac one, I found a guy on Instagram with the brand and he was making sweaters. He had the same idea of the knit stuff. I have a lot of Tupac vintage tees and I thought it would be cool to put in a sweater. So I asked him if he could put this image of Tupac. He did it and it came out fire. And I wore that as well the day it came in. Are you a big denim guy? In my closet, I have so many denim, like embroidered denim, coated denim. So I have enough denim for, for days so I can swap and switch out of outfits. But when I'm shopping, it comes down to any day Levi's. Like Levi's has the, the actual denim and then there's patterns thrown on top of it. So I think a good classic Levi's is, is where I go with it. These denim. Same kind of thing. Like it was a brand on Instagram that I had found. Easy color to wear, fire cargo pockets on them and a flare at the bottom that could cover like a bulky pair of shoes, but you see the tan easy ones. The flare jeans, you have like a lot of pairs of those because of that reason. So I like when sometimes it's mysterious to what shoe I'm wearing because my jeans cover it. If I wear like a highly thought after shoe, something that's super rare, I'll wear a, a denim over top of it that kind of hides the shoe. But from this moment, this is where I really started. Okay, I'm gonna do this more often. So we'll move on to this look right here. I was in a bubble. If you can't tell, I'm in Crocs. Those are Grateful Dead Crocs that were sent to me in the bubble. Super fire. Needle shorts, a Japanese brand. La Ropa t-shirt, brand from LA. You feel like the bubble was a little more low-key than games on the city? Yeah, for sure. The super hot weather, less layering, less things you can do with outfits. Whatever I like, I'm gonna wear. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. So if it's Crocs, if it's Jordan 1's Converse, if it's cowboy boots, I'm gonna wear what I like. It's not cowboy boots, but I would wear what I like. 
Do you try to match your mask to your fashion? I've tried to do that a couple times, but I just have like a white and a black mask just to make it easy. I just make it so that the mask isn't ruining the outfit. So that look, while I was in a bubble, I was just find things online and I would just have them sent to a bubble because we were there longer than expected. So I didn't have enough clothes. Loved the, the spider web on, on both legs. And then I threw on something that would kind of blend with the pants, black and white. I think they came and they were too short. I tried to sag them a little bit and wear a longer tee, but that didn't work either. So I just, I wore them high and let me show my shoe. I think I have a commerce right there, pro leathers. As a really tall guy, are pants difficult to get? I do typically like my pants longer. If a pair of pants isn't like, is it, if it's like two inches off, I'll sag them a little bit, not too much, because my mom would kill me. But I sag them a little bit, and then I'll wear a longer tee so you can't tell I'm sagging. You rock a lot of Supreme. Is it a brand that you like? I have a lot of older pieces that are kind of like harder to get, harder to find. The less people you see in it, the better it is to wear. So I love wearing those pieces. My thing with vintage, the less people you can see in it, the better it is to wear. And a lot of times there's t-shirts come out 40 years ago and now there's four in the world. It's more individual. And that's why I love vintage. You can wear it so many ways. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. From the car hair jacket in this picture to the t-shirt. Where do you source your graphic tees from? A few of those are vintage. That Jay-Z shirt, that's one of those tees that's hard to find. It's vintage as well. Tupac, best vintage tees are Tupac for sure. How many t-shirts do you think you own in total? Hmm. <sighs> t-shirts. Like if I go through every t-shirt, it has to be around a thousand for sure. All a thousand are not in my closet for sure. For the most part, like all my fire ones, they're in my closet color coordinated. I'll go from black, brown to colors, and then I'll get to white. So those pants are Capital, another Japanese brand. And if you can go up to the t-shirt, there's a little yellow in the t-shirt. The smiley faces are supposed to be on the back. I turned it around and tried it, and I fell in love with smiley faces in the front. What do you do about the button and the zipper? That tee's a little long, so I just covered it with the tee, and they fit perfectly, so I didn't need to worry about it or nothing like that. Are your teammates ever like, yo, like that's super tight, where'd you get that? Can I buy it off you? Oh yeah, that happens all the time. I would say 95% of games. I get a compliment, they'll try to buy from me if it's something that they know they can't just go get, or they'll try to find out where I got it. And most of the times I let them know they're my teammates, my homies. Have you ever worn anything and then people, have they kind of ragged on you a little bit or no? I don't know if it's, they're nice guys and they don't tell me, or if I'm just 100% so far. I saw that on Instagram as well. Somebody had me like a heart out of the, the Nike swoosh. I thought they were dope. But it's cool like how creative people are and they can like spin things off and kind of make it their own as well. So it was cool and I support it. So the, both of those sweaters are Capital, Japanese brand. Cozy, warm, comfortable. And they, they speak for themselves, obviously. And that first one on the left, I tried to wear like something that's similar in color t-shirt, but would pop out a little bit and you can see that in the colors. I tried many denim, didn't really like the denim with it and threw on the leathers and I love the leathers with it. Like I said, when the rest of the fit is loud, you just go simple shoes, so I went white forces. And then that one on the right is Capital sweater. Ironically, I had the vintage Jay-Z tee to match perfectly. Uh, light brown, hair and Preston cargo pants, and then Jab Scott Air Force Ones. When you buy your Japanese clothing, how do you get them? Uh, no, I haven't been to Japan. But obviously, fashion is, is very forward over there. But with those brands, they have like little boutiques and usually the bigger cities like New York, LA, that sell them. I mean, they go quick, so you gotta get on them fast. Uh, but they have the coolest stuff over there. Do you have to make sure that you have a large variety of winter clothing, summer clothing, all that kind of stuff? Definitely, it, it changes the cities you go to. The night before we fly out, make sure I have everything set up for every city, every game. So here you can see I'm wearing a trucker hat. Again, it's a capital trucker hat. But yeah, I love trucker hats. I like the way the braids come out of the trucker hats. I like that look, especially when I don't have a haircut and I'm looking a little scruffy. You got a hat to cover it. Those pants are capital again. As you can see, they got a lot of fire stuff. Super loud, dope colors, and they flare at the bottom as well. Big piece in this outfit, this shot, it's a puffer vest. It's a British brand on Instagram and it was super fire, super original. And as soon as I got sent it to me, I wore it the next game. I started there and then I worked around it. And the thing about puffer vests is like, you can layer it without it being too much layers. So like you can wear it in the summertime with a t-shirt and it, you won't be too hot. Or you can wear it, obviously in the winter time, it just gives you another layer. Um, you're a little bit warmer. They're easy to wear and they're fun to wear. So that's why I love them so much. Pants are gallery department, um, splatter jeans, flare as well. And the hoodie is a vintage hoodie. I don't know where from. And then shoes, I think I have on. Yeah, those look like Converse. I think those are pro leathers. Flare denim, um, cover the shoe, and give you a little taste of the shoe at the same time. You really don't work with a stylist or anyone? You just, you shop yourself, you pick your outfits out yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Everything you see is put together by me. I don't have a stylist. Those shoes are friends and family, Travis Scott's, not a general release. I have a sneaker plug from LA that helps me with all that stuff. And once he said he had those, this is my size available, I had to pursue and go get them. I've had those for like a little bit now, but I wanted to wait till the right time to wear them until I had something that crazy to wear them with. And those pants, 
capital pants again, black, um, kind of patchwork denim, um, loud, but also a little bit purple in the denim um, and flow nice with the shoe. And then again, a vintage Tupac t-shirt, hard to find. Um, and then bubble vest with a hoodie layering over it. I uh, love that look. The big like piece here are the off-whites yeah. that are distressed. Did you distress them yourself? No, I didn't. There's a guy on Instagram who did all that. And I asked him if he could do it to my off-white Jordan ones for me. He asked me a couple times if I was sure because they're obviously a very sick shoe. But I had, had a couple pairs. So I was like, yeah, just take a pair and do them crazy for me. And he did an amazing job. Those are one of my favorite shoes in my closet. And I've done it again with a few other shoes. Those pants are a Japanese brand. I do not know how to pronounce. I mean, they have a little bit of red at the bottom of it. It almost looks like you stepped in blood at the bottom of those pants um, and I loved them. Then I was in Vegas, so I, I was not layering every, anything over that t-shirt, Gucci man tee, uh, vintage tee as well. If I can describe my style, being comfortable in my own skin um, and being confident in it. So whatever I put on, whatever I, whatever it is that day, I make sure I'm comfortable in it and I'm confident. Well, that's it guys. Appreciate you guys listening and watching me talk about my style history. See you on the court. Well, you guys, if it's anything I just learned is that you know, I, I didn't like how Styles was, old Styles was coming back, but I kind of like it a little bit. It's, it's, it's growing on me. But like, comment, and subscribe, man. Get your style right. Get your style.